How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something very different than normal and it's going to be quite interesting though and I'm hoping it's going to help quite a lot of people out. So what we're going to do today is look at a clip that someone sent me from a kill that they had at Vindicta and we're going to be just talking over it and seeing what improvements they can do, how they can get better at doing that and anything that they may have missed that can improve their kill times and just make their life a lot better. So this person that contacted me on Discord and they said that they've been working really hard getting as much stuff as they can unlocked, uh, following all the tips and tricks videos from myself and other YouTubers as well and just going through the guides and just trying his best really to do as much as he can and he's done a good job so far he's got a hell of a lot of stuff unlocked he's doing really good and you can definitely see the effort that they've put in there to be able to improve he has said that he also put quite a bit of time into practicing too so that's absolutely great to hear as that's a huge thing it really is but uh, he feels like he's hitting a wall he feels like he's just uh, throwing himself against the wall not really improving that much anymore and he just wanted to know if there was anything else that he was missing so we've got this clip and we're going to have a look at what they do and we're going to just talk about anything they can do to improve that and this is going to be very specifically for video Dicta, but the stuff that we talk about will be able to be applied in other places as well they have agreed that i can use their name and stuff so if it does accidentally get into this then that's that's absolutely fine but i will try and cover it up best i can uh, i just don't want anyone being toxic and stuff it's just not what this video is about uh, that being said anyone who does leave toxic comments in the comments will be removed and just completely removed like there's just no need for it whatsoever this person is trying to improve and yeah that's just that's basically what we're here for so if you do have any comments that will help them out then leave a comment down below uh, because they are absolutely willing to learn that's why they've, they've asked me to do this and then finally of course i am not the absolute best pvmer in the game but that being said i do like helping people out where i can and i feel like this is something that i can definitely help with and getting this person to the next step uh, just giving a few tips and stuff specifically to them now of course we are not going straight for absolute best performance possible because it's going to be from someone who is learning going into just making that next step so they can actually teach themselves and progress and practice a bit better uh, and then they can get that improvement over time just so as long as this is that progress it kind of makes the game feel a whole lot better when you do see that progress happening but anyway let's take a look at this clip and let's talk about it i will say the clip is a little bit laggy but don't worry about it too much it's not the end of the world it's not terrible and i likely will be pausing here and there anyway uh, to talk about stuff so it won't matter too much All right, so here's that video. There is no sound with it, so I may put like my normal music in the background or something just to fill in the empty space from me and my sick voice and whatnot, but let's have a look. So I think at first they're going to show us uh, what sort of stuff they've got, what gear and stuff they've got. So this is the Relic Powers. Let's have a look, little pause and a quick check. They've got the Berserker's Fury, Fury of the Small, and Look of the Dwarves. These are absolutely great perks, to be fair. I've got the exact same, except for Look of the Dwarves. So these, these are great. That's fine. I didn't know you could actually access that from the Skill Cape, though. That's pretty cool. Okay, so equipment, they have uh, tectonic body and legs, and then they have the uh, anima core helmet, and um, essence of finality, I assume, probably has gothic staff in it, and then we've got the blast diffusion boots and a, a, a book of jazz, so this looks fine, um, and it's vindictive, so they're not using cinder banes, of course, that makes absolute sense, that's going to enhance devoted four on the robe top, and we've got the relentless five crackling four on the bottoms, and we've got Impatient on the on the top as well. So they're fine. They're, they're fine for budget perks. The Noxious Staff has uh, Precise 6, Aftershock 4. Absolutely fine as well. Again, there is going to be better perks and stuff you can get. But for now, I mean, you're fine. You're just doing Vindicta. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so uh, he is going to use the Campfire. Is this the preset that we're going to be using when we go? Have a look. Okay. So it does look like this is the preset that you're going to be using. I assume the XP capacity, you're bringing that along just because you want to level up your gear to siphon it. Maybe you're going for like 120 invention or something or 200 mil even or something like that. Or you just want to level the, the gear up. That makes sense too. But there is a few things you can definitely bring here to improve a lot of stuff straight away. So the inventory, your, your inventory setup is going to be absolutely huge. Like it's going to be so important for you. You want to get things like adrenaline potions in here as well. Adrenaline potion is going to help you out a hell of a lot because you can use like sunshine and then you build up to thresholds very quickly. Also, bringing like a prayer renewal will also mean that you don't have to worry about your prayer dropping. I know you're drop. I know you're going to bank every kill probably because you've not brought any prayer potions with you. But if you bring that along, you can use all your prayers, uh, and you'll you it will drop down a lot slower than it normally would. But uh, that's fine. You, you can, you've got your enhanced Excalibur, so I mean that's going to help a little bit. Uh, another thing you could use as well is a Ring of Vigor, because if you can put a Ring of Vigor on uh, just before you actually use Sunshine, it'll save you a bit of adrenaline. It's not that big of a deal if you don't if you don't like use the switches, but let's just go back before we get started on this, actually. The wall equipment bit, because I just want to see what ring you had. You had a Ring of Death. Okay, so I mean, it, it, it's okay. If you really don't like switching, then you don't need to bring the Ring of Vigor, but it will help out quite a bit. Also, I don't think you have a familiar. 
So I'm sure I'm sure you said that she didn't bring a familiar this time. But uh, honestly, you do not use anywhere like near as much food as you probably have here at uh, Redick Dialys. We've not seen the kill yet, but you probably won't use as much. So what I will suggest you do is bring her a Ripper Demon. Honestly, they're so good. They do a lot. They do so much damage. It's, it's absolutely worth it. Um, even without Scrolls of Vindicta, because it's quite expensive, it'll, it'll still do a hell of a lot for you. So the first thing that I've noticed before you come in here is you've not got your adrenaline at walls. Did you get that on the crystal, maybe? And then maybe it drained or no okay so i assume you've got this unlocked already maybe if you haven't got it unlocked then okay that makes sense you can't you can't charge it up but you want to charge your adrenaline here if you can if you can start a kill on 100 percent adrenaline it's going to help you out like way more than you can imagine it is insane to be able to start on 100 percent adrenaline assuming you've got that you definitely want to actually be using it but if you haven't then of course that, that makes sense you know surge in put your melee prayer on and you've drank your overload and you are putting your aura on, which you put runic accuracy on. That's absolutely fine. Um, I'm not sure about what the accuracy is like in Vindicta, but that's fine. Uh, one thing I have noticed is your prayer, your, your DPS prayer isn't on. So you definitely want to be using that. That, that, is, that is huge. This one down here, I think it's called Anguish. You want to use that. That is going to increase your damage a lot. It's going to increase your accuracy as well. So you, you don't want to miss that. You may have just forgotten it this time. So, I mean, it, it, it happens. I forget mine all the time <laughs> uh, like it, it, it does happen so you may have just forgotten it but this is going to help out like so much let's just watch through the rest of the kill i won't pause again we'll just watch through uh, i'll comment on stuff as we go through i will come back and rewatch it and we'll, we'll talk about stuff that i noticed along the way yeah you got yourself out of the smoke good good enough your abilities so you are a clicker you do click your abilities that's not a problem people do that whatever works for you is absolutely fine um what i have noticed is you are sitting quite high on adrenaline. You have a lot of adrenaline to dump here. Uh, what I probably would have done is just drop sunshine straight away. But we'll talk about that towards the end. It's all good. We'll talk about it more towards the end. So it's a little bit laggy, but it's not. It's not. It's not. It's all right. For anyone watching, I uh, think you know the lag. It's, 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 it's fine, guys. It's fine. Okay. So you're throwing. You are throwing off your threshold sometimes. Uh, the clicking looks like it's making it a little bit awkward to get them to actually fire off. But you've got ability queue in, so that's fine. Uh, that is a. That is a gothic staff in your essence of finality. Great, that's going to be so useful. There's so much to talk about with that. Um, oh, big lags back there. Okay, so it's flowing away. Moved out of the dragon fire. And now you're going to sunshine. Okay, so you got the sunshine off. Um, I definitely would have used that a little bit sooner, like like straight away, as soon as you could. And there's a reason why, and I'll talk about that. I mean, it's not too bad, to be fair. Okay, so you're getting in any you damage. You're still in your sunshine, even though he's walked you a little bit. That's cool. You are doing your prayer switch. Are you, are you just camping range? Let's have a look. Yes, you are just camping range, but that, that's fine. So these melee hits can do a bit of damage, but it's not the end of the world. So you've got the kill. So the kill took you, how long did it take? Does it say? It took you two minutes. That's fine. That's, that's, that's not bad, to be honest. For a learner, a Vindicta, someone who's just getting into stuff, two minutes of Vindicta's fine. You did good. You did good, dude. So like I said, there's a few things we need to talk about um, that will help out quite a bit. And I'm sure people in the comments will also suggest stuff that will help out as well. So let's go back and we'll talk about stuff as we as we do. All right. So now that we've been through the clip, I just want to quickly talk about the things that I noticed and the things that you should probably uh, pick up on and work on. Uh, there's definitely quite a few things that we could talk about here and it should hopefully help you out. So the main things that I want to talk about while you're before you're at the boss is you don't have planted feet anywhere. If you do have access to this or if you can get access to it, it planted feet is an amazing perk. What it will do is it will extend the duration of your sunshine and sunshine is like the core of DPS. Like it is sunshine, death swiftness and berserk are like your main things that you need to worry about because that's going to be where you put out all the damage, right? So we're going to talk about that as well when we get there about using that a bit sooner. But if you could put in here, uh, sunshine and adrenaline potion is going to help out a hell of a lot as well. Uh, vulnerability bombs are going to help out so much. The, the preset, the actual preset before you go to a boss fight is so important. Now, I'm going to assume that you probably don't want to do switches, okay? I noticed that you don't have keybinds on your prayers um, and you click most of your stuff. So at the moment, you probably don't want to be using a ton of switches. But if you can bring a planted feet switch or just put planted feet on your uh, staff or in all honesty, a noxious staff at the moment, isn't as good as using a dual wheel setup with grade concentrator blast that being said you don't have grade concentrator blast so that may not be an option for you so that's absolutely fine but uh, if you can put planted feet on your main weapon or just bring it on a switch any weapon with a switch with it would be absolutely great then that will help out like so damn much 
The next thing for your inventory would be a Ring of Vigor. If you want to bring a Ring of Vigor, again, it's another Switch. You can use that with the Sunshine too. But again, if you're not interested in the Switches, just, just forget about it for now. These are things you can add one at a time later on. And then when you're more comfortable, you can start using it. And then that way, you'll, you'll eventually you'll get into the habit of using it without even thinking about it. Inventory. Let's just talk about this quickly. Uh, Adrenaline Potion. Plan to Feet Switch if you can. Ring of Vigor Switch if you, if you want to. And uh, Vulnerability Bombs. Super important. Vulnerability Bombs going to help with a lot of DPS as well. So definitely worth bringing along. The next thing that I want to talk about uh, is you don't have a familiar Ripper Demon. Bring it along. You used, I think you used like two pieces of food in that fight. I'm pretty sure you used two pieces of food. I'm almost certain you only used two pieces of food that whole fight. Unless you have a yak. No, you don't have a yak. Just bring a Ripper Demon with you. You can put scrolls in it. You don't need to, but for Vindicta, I probably wouldn't put scrolls in it, to be honest. Not making that much money. But just summon a Ripper Demon. Don't put scrolls in it. He will do a ton of damage for you. He will he will help you out a hell of a lot. Honestly, you'll notice a big difference just from bringing him along. You aren't using a yak, so there's no reason not to bring it. You don't need extra food. You barely use any food. A DPS familiar going to help you out so much here, dude. Make sure you bring one of those. Honestly, you, you, you will see a huge benefit from this. The next thing is the crystal here. I'm going to assume you don't have this unlocked because... Um, I assume you probably would have used it if you did and if you're learning Vindicta Maybe you just don't have the kill count for these just yet But if you don't have this unlocked then try and work on doing bosses like uh, King Black Dragon or something God Wars 1 to unlock this just AFK them in your in your spare time and stuff because you definitely have the gear to do that but Unlocking this is gonna help out so much starting a fight with 100% adrenaline So you can use sunshine or death swiftness or berserk straight away is gonna like help you out so much It is unbelievable. So you don't use this uh, again We're just gonna assume that you don't have it unlocked just yet, but that's absolutely fine if if you don't but if you do make sure you use it the next thing is going to be your choice of aura so as you go in here you uh, set up your aura use your overload and you put your aura on you use uh, runic accuracy so it makes sense okay you're using runic accuracy you want to use an aura anyway uh, and that's better than no aura i'm not sure what your accuracy is like on vindictor though i'm pretty sure it's not low especially with magic i'm pretty sure you'll be absolutely fine uh, so what i would suggest you use here is dark magic it doesn't look like you have access to maniacal unless you just don't have it on your favorites um but if you do have it then use maniacal if you don't then just use dark magic dark magic is going to be great here it'll do a lot of damage it's a dps aura that is better than runic accuracy uh, and that will actually make a big difference just by itself so i would suggest just using dark magic uh, here instead you shouldn't be splashing if you are splashing then use runic accuracy that's fine but yeah dark magic could be great here so the next thing that i've just uh, just noticed is if i go back towards the beginning you see here you've used dragon breath right away at the beginning because of the care pack wrist wraps and then if you use your bleed it will actually blow up straight away dealing the minimum damage that it can see that it does five nine sevens here if you use your bleed first and then use dragon breath i know you've got revolution on um so you may just want to switch them uh, maybe put dragon breath third um, but if you switch these around and you have the the bleed first when he walks it will tr when he when she walks it will uh, increase the damage a hell of a lot and then your dragon breath will trigger that increasing it even more and honestly that will do so much more damage this is something tiny so if you just literally drag the bleed before dragon breath uh, it, will, it will yeah it will make a big difference here okay so the next thing is you are building up to 100 percent adrenaline here but you do use something like wild magic at some point which tells me that you didn't plan on using uh, sunshine anytime soon and then you did use it in the very in the very end so you hit 100 percent adrenaline you move away and then you use wild magic i believe any second now yeah so you're about to use it now what i would do here is the second you hit 100 percent adrenaline i would use sunshine Sunshine, this in this phase, the right at the beginning, is going to be more beneficial to you now than it is later. The reason being is, when Vindicta gets on her dragon, she's going to be flying around the room every three hits. It's going to be a melee hit, then a ranged hit, and then a melee hit, and then she's going to fly away. If she flies to the other side of the room as you, you're going to have to walk out of your sunshine to be able to attack them. Or you're going to have to stand and wait and do nothing until they come back to you. So what I'll suggest doing is sunshine at the beginning and then towards the end just use thresholds and bleeds. Uh, you can sunshine again or use metamorph even or something if it's available, but it, it probably won't be available at that point. So I would sunshine here and then I would use an adrenaline potion because we're going to assume you've brought one of those. Uh, use adrenaline potion as soon as you use sunshine and then just fire off any thresholds that you can. You want to basically focus on getting wild magic, uh, asphyxiate and then a gothic staff spec off as well. Speaking of Gothic Staff, you do have one, and you have a lot of adrenaline right now. The great thing about Gothic Staff is that you can dump adrenaline so fast with it, but the adrenaline is not wasted. Like, 
G staff spec does so much damage, it is unreal. You will do a ton of damage, trust me. So it is worth using that. People call it a Gothic staff crutch, and it's something I absolutely use because every chance I can, if I've got spare adrenaline, spam the living hell out of it, dude. Like, it, it does a lot of damage. So you're sitting on quite a lot of high adrenaline here. Uh, you could still use sunshine if you wanted to, but honestly, just make sure you get those thresholds off. Make sure you are spamming the Gothic staff to get the extras out. You could use detonate as well because you have blast diffusion boots. Um, but I wouldn't worry about it too much if you struggle to use detonate. I know it's a bit of an awkward ability to use. It can be cancelled easily. Um, releasing it with an ability is difficult as well. So you can stick to wild magic and asphyxiate and Gothic staff. Um, just make sure you drain that adrenaline. So what you want to do is if you're on high adrenaline, you've not used sunshine or you've already used it and you're still on high adrenaline, then using the use uh, Gothic staff, basic ability, Gothic staff, basic ability gothic staff <laughs> you can see how it goes you can't use them back to back but if you put a uh, basic ability in between them then you can spam the living crap out of it but still prioritize wild magic uh, and asphyxiate of course but yeah this this is ba basically treat gothic staff as like a an extra threshold ability for magic it is absolutely brilliant we didn't talk about the prayer yet but the prayer you haven't had your prayer on this the entire time I'm going to assume, like I said earlier, that you've just forgotten about it because you're recording and you're just focusing on other stuff. You've probably just forgotten about it. I highly doubt that you never use it. So um, make sure you've got that on. So important, like so damn important. Make sure you've got that on. That's all I can say to that, really. But again, you've probably just forgotten about it. So it's not a big deal. So the next thing is on this phase here, you are you camping range prayer. Now, you only use two food throughout this entire fight. So I can't really talk about it too much. What you could do if you really wanted to, if you're worried, if you run out of food quite often normally, or you bank quite a bit because you normally run out of food or use more than this kill. What you want to do is use melee prayer and then switch to range when he's going to use the range hit. So the way it works is she'll fly away, then she'll come towards you, use a melee hit and then a ranged hit and then a melee hit and then fly away. So it, it is a bit of switching, but if you can get used to it, it will save you a lot of food because you can protect those melee hits that do quite a bit of damage as well. You are in magic gear, so the melee hits aren't going to go through as often, but it's definitely something worth considering. So I think now you use your sunshine. Um, I'm pretty sure you use it any second now. Yeah, so there you go. You're using your sunshine now. Um, this definitely would have been better earlier on, but it's a good job that you, it's a good thing to see that you still have done it. But also, there's only got 62k health left. You can definitely do that in like very quick time uh, with sunshine up. And if you'd used an adrenaline potion here, you would have flown through that so fast. Uh, at the same time, that would have meant that sunshine was probably wasted a little bit, just because 62k is is quite a little bit amount of health to get through with a sunshine. But you'll see once you start using sunshine at the beginning and using the adrenaline potion how much health you can really deal with sunshine it is is insane but uh, it's still good to see you using it and understand understanding that it is a good ability to use your adrenaline on so here for example this is this is something i wanted to talk about um this this is going to come with practice okay this is going to come with time and this is going to come with just the experience of understanding what works best but knowing the basics of it helps out a lot so you'll see here see here that you use anticipate and then you use rack um this doesn't really make much sense just because you have access to dragon breath here and you have access to um corruption shot as well or corruption blast as well these were two better abilities like they, these are just so much better than using both of these abilities at all any time of the day any time of the day any <laughs> any day of the week dragon breath and these are, all of these abilities that we get in are better than these two so prioritize these what i would suggest you do is just let revolution do your basics dude don't bother you clicking your basics. Let Revolution do it. I understand you probably feel like, ah, oh, I need to do an input. I need to do an input. But you're using Revolution. Let it do it. Your Revolution bar is set up in a way that makes sense. That's absolutely fine. The one thing you could do is swap the Combust um, and Dragon Breath around. That way he walks the bleed and then you could blow it up with Combust. Um, but it, it doesn't matter too much. Just let Revolution fire your abilities off. They're in, a, they're in a good order and it will prioritize the better ones first. Using those two is good together if something is stunned. If you can stun a target, then then rack becomes really good. But otherwise, it, it's just not worth using that much. So just let it prioritize these ones first. But like I said, this will come with time and practice. It's not a big deal. Uh, you're still doing damage. You're not stood there, not using abilities. So <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Okay, so you get out of that pretty quick. And then you are getting back on him. So there was a couple of seconds there that you missed from um, targeting and stuff. But that's going to happen. And again, you'll just get used to it. When you get more comfortable with fights, you'll pick that up. Like, you'll, you'll pick up the fact that as soon as he flies away, you can click on him. You know where he's going to land, all that sort of stuff. Um, don't worry about it too much. But look, you've used two pieces of food and the boss is dead. You've used two pieces of food. You're fine for food, dude. You're you're doing great. All you need to do is the things that we talked about through this, and you'll you'll see such an improvement. Bring a Ripper Demon along. Get an adrenaline potion. Use a planted feet switch if you have one. If you if you just put it on your main hand weapon or whatever. Use a ring of vigor if you want to use it. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. Sunshine right at the beginning. As soon as you surge in. 
you want to be dropping sunshine, use adrenaline potion, and just go to town on the boss, pretty much. Um, I'm going to assume that your auras and stuff you would normally set up before you start the fight. It doesn't matter anyway, because even if you do it on the first kill and you're like, ah, oh, fumbling around a little bit, I do it. The second kill, your aura's already going to be on. You won't have to worry about it. It's fine. Um, but if you can do that just before you go in the room, that'll help out a lot as well. Make sure this DPS prayer is on. That's going to help you out more than you know. <laughs> like, it's going to help out a ton. I assume you normally have it on, so that's fine. Sunshine, Ripper Demon, Adrenaline Potions. Make sure you use your thresholds as soon as you can in the sunshine. Like, Wild Magic, Asphyxiate, Gothic Staff, Ability, Gothic Staff, Ability, Gothic Staff. Get them off. Gothic Staff is so freaking good. It is so damn good. And I know it will drain your adrenaline. You will get used to when you can use it and when you can't. Um, but it is just basically treat it as an extra threshold that's why i do i spam the living crap out of it because it's such a high uh, hitting ability other than that there's not really much else to say you're doing fine uh, and then the other thing would just be letting revolution prioritize the abilities for you don't press these abilities don't press impact and rack there's no point they don't do that much damage if revolution uses them then that's fine but don't prioritize them it look, looks, looks like you're clicking them quite a bit you're trying to make sure they go off don't stress about those going off too much your revolution will pick that up it will do whatever it needs to do and you do have your better abilities at the beginning so that's fine you are sitting on very high adrenaline so this is if you see your adrenaline is this high this is where you dump adrenaline like dumping adrenaline is where your damage comes from you want to throw out all thresholds you can but you know that your asphyxiate is on cooldown you know that wild magic is on cooldown so you could use detonate if you um, are comfortable using detonate but if you're not then just spam the crap out of gothic staff like dump it into him that's like 7k 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 you can just throw that at him over and over again obviously with an ability between it but yeah so important to just use that adrenaline but yeah otherwise dude i think i think you're in a good place I, i'm interested uh, in seeing how you do after this video i hope it has helped you out uh, a fair bit if it has make sure to let me know in discord if you have any questions dude you know my discord is open as well so uh, just ask away for anyone else watching that this has helped as well or i hope it has helped um the reason we did this is because we figured it will probably help quite a lot of other people too leave comments down below if you have any questions leave a comment uh, if there's anyone else who has any other tips then leave a comment down below with the other tips for this person as well but yeah i think from that we should be able to get you uh, moving up quite a bit and then if you want to send me an updated video in a couple of days do that and then we can look at that again if you want to we can do like a follow-up so that's where we're going to leave this today. I hope that it was enjoyable for people to watch and I hope people did learn. I know it was very different and I know it was quite a long video, but I really just wanted to help this person out. But at the same time, I might as well see if we can help other people out too. I thought it was a great idea. So thank you to you, dude, for uh, providing the clip and asking for the help because I'm very happy to help. I just wanted to say, if anyone else is interested in doing this, if you're struggling with anything like this as well and you found this helpful, then send me a message on Discord. There's a link to my Discord in the description. Uh, join that and you can send me a DM. It's always open to everybody. So send me a message in Discord uh, and talk to me about it and ask if, I, if I'll do it with you. Uh, and I'd be happy to do it. We could make this into something that we do regularly if uh, people do enjoy it and if it's something that does actually help people out. Of course, if you are someone who is on my level of PVM, I probably won't be able to help purely because I'm still learning quite a lot myself as well. But if you're someone who's just getting into PVM and you're really struggling with something and you know that I'd probably be able to give a little bit of help on it, then feel free to send me a message, uh, record a, a kill, just like this person did, and send that to me, and then we can make a video out of that as well. I don't have to put your names or anything in it, but if you're interested, do get in touch, and we can definitely keep this thing going. But anyway, we are going to end the video here, so if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, let me know in the comments how you felt about this video, what you thought about it, all that sort of stuff. I'd be very interested in finding out. Thank you so much to my channel members for your extra support. It's always appreciated. You guys are insane and amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, your names will be on screen right now. And for anyone else who is interested in joining the channel members, just click the join button by that sub button and you can get some pretty cool perks while you do support the channel as well. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.